Hi uh, guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This time it's a survival video instead of playing on a faction server. Uh, what we're going to do is we've just spawned into this world and it looks like we're in a pretty good area. Like we've got trees, so we've got wood, we have water, so we've got fish. We need them, we've got sand there, we don't have to go looking for it. The, the biome off to the right there as I logged in looked like it had something different about the rock structures, so there might be something over there. And like straight behind us, we've got a big cliff face wall that we can build straight into and make a house. So let's make some tools and let's see how we go. All right, got a crafting bench made. Let's whack that down and let's, um, I can't how you do this. Um, yeah, do that. Sticks down there. Grab the. Oh, wait. Damn it. God damn it. I wanted to make an axe, not a pickaxe. Um, stupid tree. Alright, let's get some more wood. And, wood? Let's get some more wood and we'll start again on that one. We'll need to, to get a normal axe, not a pickaxe. Oh, God. Uh, so we, we ended up making a normal pickaxe. I, I, I sort of cut the video because... Uh, the normal axe, I mean, sorry. I sort of cut the video because I, I didn't want to boys with that. So we dropped down some more trees. We got some materials. We then made a cobblestone pickaxe, as you can see, so we can mine ourselves out somewhere to camp for the night. And we're just making a bit of a shelter. Uh, we'll make a wooden door, whack it on the front, and we'll be all safe from the monsters. And then we'll go out and have a look around. Move this stuff inside because we might as well have it inside. There's no point in having it outside. You can craft when monsters are around there. And um, put all this junk, the extra doors and stuff. I'm not sure what we'll use the extra doors for, but I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Chuck all these over here in, into this chest. Put the um, crafting table here. Uh, let's make a sword, I reckon, and we'll go out and have a sticky beat what's around. I know it's daytime, so we're not really going to need. A sword, so to speak. I'm not sure what comes out in daytime. I haven't played this game for a while. There might be new mobs, but we're going to make a sword. And just in case it's not time when we come back, we'll we'll have the sword with us and we'll be all good. So let's go and have a sticky beak around. Do we lock the door? No, fuck it. No, she be right. Leave it open. Let's go. What's around? Sorry little piggy, run. I need meat. I'm gonna, if I stay out here without anything to eat, if, when it comes night time, I'm gonna die. So I, I need pork and I'm sorry, but I swear I'll come back for some years later and I'll coax you over into my yard and we'll have a little pig farm. But I'm just, I just need the pork for now. So I do apologize. I'm not a hater. I like pork. Right, what do we got? Okay, so I'm back over that way. There's a biome I was talking about. It looks like it has a bit of a different structure on it. It may actually be nothing, but we'll check that out a bit later on. I just want to have a look around the flat ground and what's in the water here, and then we'll move on. Okay, so the water held nothing, but okay, that's anyway. That's, that's a village. Oh, nice. Um, that's like literally five seconds walk from where I am. Um, yeah, the water had nothing but squid and a few of the um, the swimming fish, and I killed them and got some raw trout or salmon. I think it was. Oh, some horsies, nice. Um, that's a, that, this village is really close. That's a great start. Uh, let's see if they've got some chests. That's where it'll be a great start. If they've got some chests with, with the good stuff in it. Can you trade these guys? Do you need to build trust or something? I can't remember how this works, but yeah, they're not going to trade. Not going to trade after this. Where, where's all your goodies? Oh, I don't want to break your bed. Yeah, I do want to break your bed. I need a bed. Thank you. Now I don't have to go and find sheep. I'll, no, you can keep these ones. What's in there? Ooh, apples. Apple, apple, apples, uh, apple, apple, book. no, I don't need a book, um, the feather, I'll take the feather, I'm not sure what the feathers are for anymore, but grab them just in case, and we'll grab a torch or two, because I haven't got any coal or anything yet, so if it's night time when we're going back, or we need to protect ourselves from monsters in a hurry, we've got some torches, we can just put them down and try and run away, at least then we'll find where we're going. Alright, let's go home, because it's starting to look like it's getting dark, so we'll go home, we'll put this bed down, uh, we'll put some torches in the house, so monsters don't spawn in it, or in the house, in the little shack cabin area thing, and then, um, yeah, I think we'll go from there. 
There's plenty of flowers and stuff around too. I believe they make dyes and potions. Um, as I said, I haven't played this for a while, but I'm pretty sure we'll work it out. But this is a great little spawn. So they fall down these. No, you can't even fall down holes. There's no, like, you know. In... Wait. I thought, I was going to say, I thought I heard like a... I think it was a pig snorted and it made me think it was a monster and then I heard a zombie, I think it was. Where is he? I can't see him. Alright, let's just keep going the way we go. So as you can see, I've left the village, I'm coming this way. My house is like literally right over here. It is like really close. It's a good start, so all I need to do now is go down and uh, maybe get myself some diamonds. Um, I plan on, uh, whenever I cut trees, I'm going to plant them along this straight area here. All the saplings that drop. And then that way I can just farm wood if I need it. But for now, I'm going to put this torch here. And I'll put one, no, not there, I'll put the bed there. I'll put uh, over there. And then I'll put the bed in this left corner. I'm going to move out a bit, put it in the middle. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to sleep. Okay, so I slept in the bed, which means I've now saved that as my home. And it's the next day, I'm in the village. Well, I don't know what they are. Haystacks, by the look of it. I'm in the village and I'm just having a look around. And we got a blast furnace. Nice. Um, I'll have to come back for that later when I've got the tools to do it. I'm not sure what they do. Oh, you're a blacksmith, obviously. Look at all these iron, um, what do you call it? Iron blocks. So there's a lot of iron here. Uh, what else have we got? Close your door on me, mate. You must be trying to hide something. Oh, there you go. A couple of emeralds. And some potatoes. And some bread. We'll take all that because we don't know what we're going to have for food at the moment. So we can drop all that later or replant the potatoes at least. Um, but for now we've got no food so we'll take what we can. There's nothing up there. Okay. I don't know what made me look up there because I think as he was jumping I might just check the roofs anyway. Oh, more potatoes. Oh, some gold nuggets. More bread. As I said, it's, just, it's junk food but we can drop it later. We can start catching fish. Uh, I want to go make a diamond sword at some point so I can come out to the mobs and farm some spiders for some string so I can make some fish and then the food supplies right there. Okay, so we've made ourselves a little bit of a mine shaft and we've come across a redstone. I've had to go back and make an iron pickaxe. Uh, I'm not going to record myself strip mining for hours on end or you know half an hour at a time. I will just I'll highlight it for you guys when I find something and I'll get back to you like that way. So yeah, here comes the highlights, I guess. I like coal, coal likes me, it keeps me warm and comfy, da 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 I'm mining coal, da 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 da, in a big dark hole. <laughs> I meant to say big dark. Getting to that point is just endless mining, like, I mean we haven't gone, oh. Okay, that's kind of, I was going to say, we haven't gone too far and we've found, um, a lot of stuff but it's a lot of the lower tier ores and stuff but we just found a cavern full of water like natural cave with water in it um let's work our way across there we can jump down and oh, we'll, we'll have a look at this way first we'll clear that corner edge there on the left see if we can see any it doesn't look like there's any openings in here looks like it's just a big square room with water in it but yeah we'll work our way across here and then we'll um let's go on here How's it going? Right. Oh, the roof. That's why I can't jump. Okay. I was like, why can't I jump out of the water? Like, what the hell's going on here? Alright, get rid of this. What the hell is that noise? It spooks me every time, man. Oh, I thought that was a skeleton standing over there where those rocks were spinning in the corner. Ha! <laughs> oh, well. Alright, we'll keep digging along and we'll see where we go from in there. And yeah. Lapis Lazuli, my old friend. I remember I need you. No, I'm going to put that on the other side. I always put my torches on the left-hand side as I'm coming in. So when I'm going out, I know they're on the right-hand side. Um, so, yeah, you don't get lost in your tunnels. But, yeah, as I said, Lapis Lazuli, I know you, old friend. You need these to enchant, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, every enchantment you do requires some Lapis Lazuli. And we're going to grab that redstone while we're there because we do plan on making some sort of redstone uh, machines. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be, but I've got no idea how to make them. Um, so we're going to look something up and have a crack at it. Some sort of redstone machine. Considering not on the server, we can't... Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the diamonds you've been looking for. 
Welcome to the stage, Neil Diamond. Nice. All right. Let's mine around these guys. We'll have a look and make sure there's nothing here that's going to take them on me because I don't want to lose them. I mean, if there's lava underneath them when I mine them out, it's not very likely because there's um, bedrock right there. But if there is, I can catch them as they, as they, um, yeah, as they break. So, yeah, caught them both as they break. There we go. How many diamonds did we get? Just two. Okay. Um, I might keep this hole and come back to it later, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll just build a staircase, a quick little staircase out. We'll keep this and come back to it later because there's probably more around that where these ones were. So uh, let's put a torch there to identify it and we'll just be on our way. Okay, so now it's time for the piece of resistance. We are going to make the legendary diamond sword. And that way we can go outside and we can farm mobs without having to smack them 200 times with a bloody iron sword or anything like that. So here it is. Look at that. Pull your sword from the stone. The diamond sword. Look at it in all its glory. Alright, so we're going to use this to go out and farm mobs. And with that being said, I will catch us on the next video. That is the end of this one. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch us later.